I am a founder of uh, Astrafy with these three other guys, Charles, that is our CEO, lead architect. Kevin that is the, our guru on data ops and DevOps. And then we have Camille that I, I used to call a magician because he's doing all this machine learning, AI, and advanced analytics. So we are a group of ex-colleagues uh, that uh, we have a passion, passion of data, and we also share the same mindset. Uh, we found it in Geneva, but our market is based on Switzerland, of course, and also Western Europe and also Africa, because we think that in Africa there is a lot of potential about also education, where we believe we believe in a lot, and uh, uh, in that field and that country we can bring a lot of value. Our uh, three point of mindset here: we are doers and not talkers. We leave politics to politicians, and we do one thing, but we do it well. So, uh, as I said, uh, um, our core pillars uh, is based on uh, uh, data uh, mesh uh, open source structure. Uh, and uh, we have this six pillar here uh, as a main point where we have data, data ingestion, data transformation, data distribution, data governance. And today I'm going to talk about mainly data ops and DevOps uh, on Airflow. And then least, uh, last but not least is like education. Uh, let's start then uh, talking about data mesh and data product. Before to start to dive into this topic, we need to just jump a bit on the genesis and how Jordan Tigani, BigQuery founder, said in uh, the talk of Cloud Next 2019, it's all about scale, right? So uh, you can for sure build a house like that, also on, on your own, and it's going to take a bit of time, but then for sure, like, uh, build these scrapers, they need totally tool, different tools, a different uh, um, uh, mindset, a different uh, skills to do that. And this one is what happened also like in software engineering, right? Like if you think about the in 90s when we have this application with this monolithic application, it was like kind of starting to be messy and then is where the microservice came to uh, rescue us. And in here is the, where the data mesh principle and concept came. And uh, are this one, the main pipe, the main principle, the guidelines that we need to follow. Basically, we need to go domain driver, uh, use uh, this domain as a data, and here where the concept of data product is born, and also use as much as possible self-served platform, and in order to have like guidelines, standards, and uh, uh, keep most decision at domain level. Uh, so what we uh, define as the data product in Astrafy is the idea to have like a business use case, a business requirement defined as a data model. So like what we see is like instead of having everything in one simple data monolithic uh, model, we want this one to have split it and to have something isolated. Why that? Because in most of the use case, what we see like there is, there is not isolation, there is not um, scalability, there is not flexibility, and there is no modularization. Uh, so uh, to decouple all this kind of stuff, it helps you to like divide what is like um, the central data, data team, the platform team, and how to define who is able to do what and what uh, and who is going to do to what. And uh, also this one is also uh, able to uh, allow you to define the structure of uh, or your organization and the structure of your data pipeline. Why this one is uh, is working correctly? Because uh, is as I said, is going to decouple all the different dependencies and work in one thing and and do it good. And uh, then is also clarify ownership on data and also define standards on uh, uh, how to share data between producer and consumer and how the the contracts between these two application they need to communicate with each other. So um, as I said, uh, Adastrify, like we, we, we define the concept of uh, data product as a business user, a business use, a business, a business need. And what we do it, we do it, of course, with Airflow, where we uh, orchestrate everything. And uh, we st starting from the ingestion till the exposure. So. The, the ingestion, basically, we've done it through uh, Airbyte, but can be done uh, through other, other components. And then we have data contracts. Data contracts is used to have like data quality check. In this case, we are using great expectation in order to check that the data that we are arriving in our source system that is called landing zone, that we used to call landing zone, is uh, as expected. 
and then we do the, the step of transformation in which we are using dbt uh, and then after that after that all our uh, calculation of cleaning data of uh, our calculation of the kpis is done we are going to expose expose this data to our downstream application what is the benefit of that? Is like we have independent deployment. We can release and uh, have faster deployment and uh, have quicker release cycle. Improve scalability because we can just have different and multiple uh, business and data products work at the same times without to interfere with each other. We have uh, improving the release, release, resilience to change and also adding more value to the business and to the data because we can just directly interact and do a simple change without affect other business um, that are not related to the business use case. And, uh, and then for sure, we have also better maintainability. So at Astrafy, what, uh, we, what we use uh, is basically Airflow.2.7. And uh, we, are, we are installed this one through Terraform, where uh, Kevin, our data ops uh, guru, as I said, is, uh, is, uh, he deployed this one in our Kubernetes cluster that is based on Google, in which we have, uh, thanks to the service mesh Istio, uh, we have deployed the different two instances. One is for dev and one for production, in which uh, we are, we are uh, running also Airflow on on prem, so we we installing through Elm. So because we don't, we are not using Cloud Composer. We are using uh, uh, deployment uh, of Airflow in order that we can be faster to deploy it and also be up to date with the newer version. And then, as I said, we are using DBT. Uh, I don't know if you are familiar with, but uh, DBT is really uh, useful uh, with this concept of data as a product because we can define a, a, a data product as a dbt local package. And so what we have is like for each data product, we, you have a dbt model basically, a dbt local package, sorry. So uh, if uh, I want to sum up again, the, the, the data product is like the business need, the business user ca use case that we want to represent through data model. And we, uh, we are working using data contract uh, to have the data quality check, then we do the transformation through dbt, and then we expose this data to the downstream application. So let's do like a, a small demo. So, so as I said, like we have two different instances of Airflow. This is our uh, Astrify Dev instance where we have our DEGs that are like there to, in order to for the our data engineer to work and try stuff, and then we have our uh, product instance that all of this is also behind IAP. So uh, uh, everybody that uh, has access to this uh, URL uh, as, is belonging to a specific Google Cloud uh, uh, account. And then uh, what we have as well in Astrafy, like we have this uh, repository in GitLab, uh, is project in, in GitLab that having, is having like all the different data package that we want to deploy. And now I'm going to show you the, DB, the, the data product FinOps, where the idea is to have basically um, uh, a summary of all the expenses that we have in our Google Cloud platform or, or organization. And so like our CEO can see like how much money we are spending if we are using, for example, correctly BigQuery or all the other services that they are behind uh, the GCP. So uh, as I said before, Let's jump in this example here. Uh, we, are, uh, we, are ex uh, we are trying to use the best practices of Airflow 2.7, where we have like the, the documentation, where we, people can understand how the DAX works. And then we, have, we, we try to, to be as much as possible as speakable here in order to understand which end of the different tasks do what. The first step that we have is, like, uh, is this data contract. That basically uh, is, as, as I said, is going to send a notification to our Slack in order to show if the schema or, or the data quality check that we do uh, is, is what we are expecting. So if we're checking like uh, in Slack, I lost, okay. So what we have is like, uh, uh, we have a channel where we, we receive the, the information about the, the validation of the data contracts. And every, every day, every time that is the, the DAG is running, we receive the, the status of that. It, so it's quite offended, so we, we are aware if something is wrong. So if you, if you have some failures or like uh, some issue here, we can, we can see immediately. 
And then we have like the step of transformation where is like uh, we are using like group um, task group in where we are is running uh, all the information about the DBT. And uh, another important point that I forgot to mention before, our DBT is running uh, as a Kubernetes pod operator. Why that? Because we don't want to interfere with all the dependencies of uh, uh, with Airflow. And what we do, we just have like an image of uh, the DBT version that we want to run. We push it in our uh, artifact registry and we use it that in our Kubernetes pod operator. And also, this one is really useful because we can we what we did uh, at Astrophy is like we create a node pool and like um, a, a node pool that is like separated uh, within each other. So each data product have also is container as also node pool separated. So we can, we are sure that everything is separated and, and not we cannot interfere with the other one. And at the end, after that, uh, our um, uh, transformation is done. What what we have is like we send messages to the the, the downstream application. Oh, oh my God! Yes, yeah. We maybe just. Yeah, uh, where we have like uh, we send pub some messages to the downstream application based on what we want, and uh, here you can imagine that it can be like done in different different way, like where you can have send messages to your uh, downstream application to say, okay, the data quality check that uh, uh, the, my DBT test is failing, so you don't need to run your query or, or your vertex pipeline or whatever. So we are uh, everything can be uh, auto fully automated. And uh, with that, what we have uh, nowadays is like that we have another channel in Slack where we receive all the information about the uh, the cost that we are spending uh, in um, in our Google Cloud platform. Um, basically, then uh, this is our, the the demo, and the, the key point to to take away are like so. Uh, So uh, we have like a data product that is, is working as a DBT local package. And uh, we can have for sure interoperability between the different data product within each other because we can import the different DBT local package from one package to another. And then we, we deploy all of this really easily through the CI-CD deployment in, in, uh, in GitLab. And then we run the DAG in Airflow in order to schedule and transform all, all our data pipeline. So now I don't know if you have any question, but uh, thank you for the attention. Any question? Oh, people already have their hands up. You're way ahead of me. Thank you. Um, where do you hold your base data layer where maybe you have like a user's data set that always needs to be enhanced a certain way across multiple data products? Yeah, like uh, as I said before, maybe I was not clear enough, but uh, uh, we own, we have all the data in BigQuery. So all the data that we have are in BigQuery that are, dif they are differentiated by all the layer. So we have like the source, the source layer that is called what we call landing zone. And from there we have our staging, then data mart, and then like all the, sorry, uh, uh, staging, um, uh, data warehouse and data mart. And then from there, we expose data through that, uh, to the uh, downstream application. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like we all, all the, 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 what we do is like basically the data mart uh, is like a, a specific, a specific project in, uh, in, in GCP and where in there you have different data set that is based on the data product. So in there you can have a differentiation based on the, what you want to expose the, the data mart. So basically also the, what we call also vault clients. So what we want to expose to the downstream application. So for example, this FinOps, this FinOps data product. Uh, we cannot. We don't want to expose us for a specific application. We can decide to to where the data product can feed which application. Um, thank you for the presentation. I have uh, two questions. Hopefully yeah. that I can squeeze in. First one: um, How do you guys actually calculate the costs of 
all these individual tasks if you're comfortable sharing. Yeah, for sure. We are. Then, yeah. Sorry, sorry, question two. Um, are you guys using a custom great expectations operator or are you just using the native one that comes with the astronomer or airflow package? Okay, so first we are we are using the, the calculation of um, the cost using the DBT elementary. I don't know if you know it's the local package of DBT. And then we are based on what we, uh, on all the bills information of GCP. Because you can you can uh, run your you can have uh, running for example the information schema in BigQuery you can you can know who is which job ID is running which query and how much terabyte you, the the query are like uh, consuming and from that you can just do like a simple math in order to compute based on the byte that are, has been scanned and built you can compute how much computation you have done and all of this is also is like for all the other services. And for concerning the great expectation, what we do, like we have, we have our own image uh, that is, is running in Kubernetes spot operator that we, we custom it in order to do this, the test and the, the data quality check that we want, basically. I've got a question back here. Yeah. Um, so you, with your data products and things like that, I'm just curious, um, do you find that there is, or you don't really know that there's a duplication between the data products? And is a data product, I know you showed what it was usually a set of different data sets, is it usually a report or a predictive model or what, um, yeah. what on those two questions on that, I guess. Yeah, like this is a really good question. Basically like the, the idea that you need to, we need to have is all, all the time behind this data product is to have a mind of building a good data modelization, right? So like we use, uh, before to build a data product, at, at the beginning you can, st can start from scratch. So you define your DBT model as, as the way you go. But then after that, you can see if you have something that is common between each other, maybe you have like, you can do like also a common uh, data product that can be like useful uh, for other like models that you can import between different local packages. No, yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, 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 indeed, yeah. And like uh, at the beginning when DBT was not really, uh, we were not really familiar with DBT, we started with like having like just everything in one simple, <laughs> huge model, different model, and now we then we separate in different parts. Um, yeah. So in your uh, stack, you showed up DBT and like uh, great expectations. Yeah. DBT has an inbuilt uh, testing tool yeah. behind itself, like, What's the, have, did you happen to compare uh, yeah. how these two are different and what's the advantage and things like that or? The, we don't, we don't, um, we like to try st different stuff. For sure, like we have, we used the, the both capability that are working totally fine within each other and uh, there is no better way to do. But we, we from what we, are, we say like uh, DBT used to do like uh, SQL data transformation, right? And great expectation is used to do like data quality check. So we we try to use the best tool to do the, the best job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks, uh, folks. Uh, we are out of time for perfect. questions, but if anybody check. has additional yeah. ones, I'm sure you can find yeah. Andrea out after the talk. Um, yeah. Thanks so much, Andrea. Thank you to you.